It'll come as a shock to no one that humans eat a lot of food. Thank you. It's also no surprise that, well, there's a lot of mouths to feed. In fact, experts say that by 2050, we're gonna have to feed at least nine billion people, which could be a problem. Booking for nine billion, um, we can do 30 years from now? Right now, almost 40% of land on Earth is used for food production, while more than a third of greenhouse gas emissions come from moving it around, clearing land for it to grow, and, yeah, cow farts. In the next 30 years, we'll have to double our food production. So experts say we need to find some more environmentally friendly ways to fill our tummies. And I think I know where to start. Check, please. Hi, Kayla. Hey, How are you? Ishka. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. Uh... Ishka Bless is a PhD student at Adelaide University and University of Nottingham looking into one alternative food source. So, Ishka, insects, why should we be eating them? Well, we're actually already eating them. So insects were historically a part of our diet and in many countries across the world, we're actually eating them already. Insects are also really good for the environment. So they help us to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, they help us to reduce water, and they can grow really quickly in a small amount of space. So all of these insects, are they actually good for you? Yeah, absolutely. So crickets are a really good source of protein and protein is essential for us to survive and live. But they also carry a lot of other nutrients too. So they're a bit of a jam-packed nutrient house. It's all about getting more bang for our food production buck. Whether it's alternative food sources like insects or jellyfish or microscopic plankton, or finding other ways to make the foods we love to eat. For example, several companies across the globe are working on real meat that's grown in a lab. They're also looking at alternative protein sources such as chickpeas and legumes, which we can create in special ways that make them feel and taste like meat. Ishka says one of the biggest tricks will be convincing people like me to give new foods a go even if it does mean crunching down on some creepy crawlies. Oh, it just tastes like chips. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs>